Um, I, I remember this one time I had to punch this camel because of the disrespect. So see, look, what? sometimes you got to punch a camel. I went to this school in Florida called FSDB, Florida School for the Deaf and Blind. And we would often go on field trips. We would like to go to the zoo a lot. The zoo was fun. They used to have petting zoos and stuff. And because a lot of our uh, kids were visually impaired, we got to get closer to the animals. You know what I'm saying? So I was like 10 and we got to get closer to the, to the elephants and to the camels. And they were giving elephant rides and camel rides. I'm a little kid from Florida. I ain't, I ain't never seen no camel before. I don't know what this is. I just thought it was hilarious that I got to say hump a lot that day and nobody got mad. He got two humps. You see, he got two humps. That's a hump, hump, hump. Anyway, we got close to the camels and stuff. And then uh, the lady had told me maybe don't maybe don't go around its face a lot because they they spit. Now, at 10 years old, I ain't never seen an animal spit. I ain't never seen a dog spit, a cat spit. I've seen humans spit. But, like, I ain't never seen no animal spit. Right now, you can't think of 20 animals that spit. You can think of cobras and, that's, and llamas. That's all you're thinking of right now. Well, you should add camels to that. Because they spit. They don't Because they. So I was, I was playing around its face. I don't remember what I did, but it spit on me. Now here's the here's the thing when you when I say it spit on me I know some of y'all thinking like hey do it no that's first of all you need to understand it was quick it was quick and it was accurate he hit me hard right in the face second what you need to understand is that it was a lot uh like in volume it was a, it was a, and third and third what you need to it was not regular it wasn't salat, it was green, is what it was. And it got in my mouth, and it got in my eyes, and it got in my nose, and it got in my soul, and it got in my memory. And I've never been, you know, I've never been hit in the face with a gallon of camel spit before. I'm 10 years old. This has never happened to me before. It's not even kind to happen to me. So I did what, you know, what any, and Tam, I uppercut the shit out that goddamn camel. Because cause here's the thing, though. It was looking at me. Camels have eyelashes and so when they look at you it's disrespect like i don't like how he was looking at me just so i came up on his chin and knocked it back a little bit you know what i'm saying and then he looked like he ain't even feel it and then he ain't even like he ain't even move and then the, the like the zoo people they they saw that and they was like you can't be you can't punch you can't punch the camel um and then and then my dorm like our our chaperones were mad at me because I was saying things like, the fuck ass camel spit on me. Who bitch camel is this? Why God, why? There was a lot of things that were going through my mind and I was, you know, I was drenched in spit. I also had hurt my hand because I, I really did try and punch the shit out that camel. And we were, you know, we were asked, I was asked uh, to leave not so politely. And I, I did. I had to wait on the bus uh, for the rest of the trip. I think, I think it was like the first time as a kid that I remember being like, I want to take a shower right now. I don't like how unbothered the camel was by me punching him square in the face, but how apparently bothered what I had previously done to him he was. I don't even remember what I was doing. I was just hanging out near him and he soaked me in saliva, but then didn't even flinch and just flapped his, flapped his, after I punched his ass dead in the face. Why I gotta leave? The camel won't spit on me first. They always catch the second dude though. Anyway, I hope that camel's humps got the palsy.